Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to do the same problem as before, but instead of having a completely inelastic collision, we have a completely elastic collision. Again, it's a neutron that collides with a boron. The neutron has some initial velocity with mass m. The boron has 10 times the mass of the neutron, and it has no motion before the collision. Now, if the collision is completely elastic, that means they don't stick together and there's no laws in kinetic energy, by definition. And so what we need to do now is try to figure out how much of the kinetic energy that the neutron had initially is now transferred to the boron. The sum of the kinetic energies of the two after the collision will equal the kinetic energy of the neutron before the collision, but we want to know what fraction of it was transferred to the boron atom. All right. Again, we start out by using the conservation moment, momentum equation where P initial equals P final. But for an elastic collision where they don't stick together, it will look as follows. It will be M V initial plus big M V initial, which in this case will be zero, equals M times V final plus big M times V final. And that's V final of the boron and V final of the neutron. But of course, we know that this is equal to zero, and that is 10 times m. So we can say that m v initial equals m v final plus 10 m v final. All right. That doesn't help us solve the problem because we have two unknowns. We have a v final for the neutron and a v final of the boron, and we don't know the relationship between the two. Mm -hmm. So what we need is we need a second equation. We need the energy conservation equation to solve it simultaneously. That means that we can say that one half, so we can say kinetic energy initial equals kinetic energy final, which in this case means one half mv initial squared plus one half big M v initial squared, of course, which is going to be zero, is equal to one half m v final squared plus one half big M v final squared. Notice this will be zero. The m's cancel. Well, we can't cancel m's yet because we have that right here. So what we're going to do is first we're going to cancel all the one halves. And then we're going to rewrite it with this equal to zero. So we end up with m v initial squared equals m v final squared plus in this case, that would be 10m big V final squared. That's the velocity of the boron squared, and this is the velocity of the neutron squared, the final velocities. But now we can cancel out the m's, like this. And over here, we can also cancel out the m's in this equation. Okay. All right, I think the best thing to do here is, because we have 10 times V final squared, and we have V final squared here, it's probably better to solve for v final and plug that in here. I think that would be the simplest calculation. So let's try that. So we have v final of the neutron equals v initial of the neutron minus 10 times v final of the boron. And then take that and substitute that into our equation over here. So let's go ahead and see that. Then we end up with a quadratic equation in terms of v final of the boron. So we get V initial squared is equal to V final squared, which means V initial minus 10 times V final quantity squared plus 10 times V final squared. Now go ahead and we multiply all that out and see what we get. V initial squared equals V initial squared minus 20 V initial V final would be twice the product of those two and then plus 100 v final squared plus 10 times v final squared. Now we can simplify some things. We can get rid of these two right here, because subtract those from both sides. And what that means is we end up with 0 is equal to minus 20 v initial v final plus 110 v final squared. Now, factoring out a v final, we get 0 equals v final times minus 20 v initial plus 110 v final. 
which leads us to possible solutions, which means that V final equals zero as one solution, which is unlikely as a solution, or we can have this equal to zero. Remember, we have a product. We have this times this equals zero, so either this equals zero or that equals zero. So we have minus 20 V sub naught plus 110 V final equals zero, which means that V final is therefore equal to uh, 20 V initial over 110. All right, so now we have V final in terms of V initial of the, um, of the neutron. So now the next thing we can do is figure out how much kinetic energy the boron has versus how much kinetic energy the neutron has. So kinetic energy initial will be equal to 1 half mv initial squared. Now, kinetic energy final of the boron, so kinetic energy final of the boron is going to be equal to 1 half the mass, which is 10m, times the velocity final squared, which is 20 over 110 v initial squared. So now that I have the initial kinetic energy of the neutron and the final kinetic energy of both boron, I can now find the percent or the fraction lost. So the kinetic energy final of the boron divided by the kinetic energy initial of the neutron, let's see what that fraction is equal to. So in the denominator, we're going to end up with 1 half mv initial squared. In the numerator, we're going to get this. I'm going to factor 1 half mv initial squared, 1 half mv initial squared. And then I have 10 times 20 squared, which is 400, divided by 110 squared, which is 12100, 12,100. Since the 1 half mv initial squared cancel out, I'm left with 4,000 divided by 12,100, those two zeros cancel out, and we end up with 40 divided by 121. So 40 divided by 121, which is 33%. So 0.33 or 33% of the original energy that the neutron has, has now been transferred to the boron, and of course the remaining 66, 67%, will be staying with the neutron. But that's how we figure out the amount of energy transferred to the boron. Just like before, if you have an elastic collision where the two objects don't stick together, you need to use the two equations, you need to use the conservation of momentum equation, and you need to use the conservation of energy equation. You solve for one of the two unknowns using this equation, and then you substitute it into the energy equation to find the other unknown. And that is how we did that.